Matt Gray, 3-1 sounds comprehensive, but surely the shot should have got something out of that game. Yeah, I, th I think we, uh, like a few few um, games of the recent weeks, I think we deserve more than the result shows. Uh, I think we dominated for the last periods. We had plenty of chances to score. I scored one. I think we could have scored many more. And uh, we've been hitting the break a couple of times and unfortunately not got a result. I haven't seen the possession stats, but I think they're probably, uh, most of the stats are in Aldershot Town's favour. It was a fantastic start. Probably should have been ahead in the first 10 minutes. And Yeah, so I'd say first 30, 35 minutes. I'm not too sure exactly when Mark Phillips went off, but it's around that sort of time. And it just affects us a little bit, our, our momentum, and obviously affects our shape. But we still managed to recover quite well, and conceding uh, injury time was disappointing. Um, and again, come out second half, and they've got an early goal. But from then on, we've just absolutely dominated. Got one goal back, and how we haven't equalised, I don't know. Yeah. Um, and, and they've stuck a punch at the end with the third one. And that's it, each goal really yeah. came after periods of dominance. Yeah. Each goal is a sucker punch, it's not yeah. just the third. I'm trying to think if they probably had one, I think they had one chance, maybe two other than they scored. And we've had numerous, numerous chances, so um, we were disappointed. And injury and illness again disrupted the preparations and during the game. Jaden Gibbs and Mark Molesley weren't yeah. involved, and then Mark Phillips limps off with what looks like a, a hamstring strain. It's it's just typical of the club at the moment, the way injuries are going. Definitely, it's a, it's a very, very frustrating period with the amount of games, obviously with the, the cut run that, that we've had has been great, but it has affected us with the amount of games we've had and and um, the, the short games we've had, the amount of games we've had in a short period of time, it's really, really affected us and, uh, and we just seem to be just going from game to game at the moment and literally just patching people together, trying to pick out the 11 fittest players to, to go out and try and do it for us. And, you know, we've got another three games coming up in a busy Christmas period. You know, if we can just try and get through those and, and pick hopefully a few points up and, and get to Telford in the new year when hopefully, well, hopefully the, the fixtures do yeah. ease off and we can get a few a few bodies back fit and, uh, and go again. Yeah, and if you, almost if you take the goals out out of the, the highlights package from this game, there's lots of positives to take from it. it was without, a, without a doubt. A strong performance. Yeah, a strong performance. The energy of the lads, the, the way they passed the ball, the, the creative chances. We looked a threat from set pieces. Um, as I say, this, other than a couple of sucker punches, it, it wasn't a bad performance at all. Mm. And if one of those early chances had gone in, I think Dan Fitchett had a, a double chance. The keeper makes the save, then it's yeah, cleared and, off the and line. Jordan if... Roberts put a great ball across, I think that was within the first minute or so, yeah. and Fitchett's had a double chance uh, not long after that. Um, yeah, to, to go over again we've, we can talk about plenty of chances that we've had but yeah. unfortunately we couldn't take them today yeah and it's a difficult run at the moment and I suppose maybe Boxing Day the, the visit of the leaders Barnet is a big occasion a chance for the team to lift themselves again yeah it, it, there's, there's, there is no easy games in this division as, as we all know but certainly the, the three games over Christmas will be tough with Barnet twice and Woken away in between there's no hiding the fact that they're, they're, they're two really strong sides but um, as, as I say we can we can compete against anyone we can beat uh, beat anyone in this division and we'll be going into Barnet on Boxing Day looking to do that mm. and you say with the two games against Barnet and against Woking a local derby against teams that are at the top of the table it's yeah the shots have seemed in the past maybe to, to lift themselves yeah. they almost become three cup ties and yeah, exactly. the shots have done really well in the cup obviously against the League 2 and League 1 mm. opposition this, uh, this season already we've held our own so to face Barnet we certainly don't fear them we respect them they're at the top of the league for a reason as well as Woking doing well so um, of course we respect the, the two sides but we don't fear them and that's for sure we'll be going there to try and get a result